Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 4th of May, Saturday of the week of Easter 5, uh, C.S. Lewis, 1898-1963. Oh, and this is one of those times where Lewis makes so much sense and I and perhaps you don't like it, but it the terrible thing, the almost impossible thing, is to hand over your whole self, all your wishes and precautions to Christ. But it is far easier than what we're trying to do instead, for what we're trying to do is to remain what we call ourselves, to keep personal happiness as our great aim in life, and yet at the same time be good. We are all trying to let our mind and heart go their own way, centered on money or pleasure or ambition, and hoping in spite of this to behave honestly and chastely and humbly. And that is exactly what Christ warned us you could not. Do, as he said, a thistle cannot produce figs. If I am a field that contains nothing but grass seed, I cannot produce wheat. Cutting the grass may keep it short, but I shall still produce grass and no wheat. If I want to produce wheat, the change must go deeper than the surface. I must be plowed up and re-sown. When he said, be perfect, he meant it. He meant that we must go in for the full treatment. It is hard, but the sort of compromise we are all hankering after is harder. In fact, impossible. It may be hard for an egg to turn into a bird. It would be a jolly sight harder for it to learn to fly while remaining an egg. We're like eggs at present. And you cannot go on indefinitely being just an ordinary, decent egg. We must be hatched or go bad. And the prayer. Henry Alford, 1810-1871. O God, who hast commanded us to be perfect as thou art perfect, put into my heart, I pray thee, a continual desire to obey thy holy will. Teach me day by day, what thou wouldst have me to do, and give me grace and power to fulfill the same. May I never from, from love of ease decline the path which thou pointest me out, nor for fear of shame turn away from it. Amen.